Hi there, ladies and not ladies and uh, everybody else. Do you ever find yourself being creeped on at, say, the gym or the dog park or the post office or your workplace or everywhere? Yeah, you're sick of it. I'm sick of it. It doesn't really happen to me because male privilege, but it happens to a lot of my female friends and I'm sick of it happening to them, so I thought I would lend a hand. So here's what you're going to do. First off, establish that no one is watching you. Clearly someone is watching, otherwise you wouldn't need this video. But pretend that you don't notice. Uh, uh. Awesome! I'm all alone! So the next thing is to get down to business. The business, of course, being to pick your butt. Whoa! Whoa! I know what you're thinking. Is this video being filmed in your laundry closet? Yeah, because the room where my webcam is has terrible acoustics. Quit being so judgy. I had to bring my phone in here. Otherwise, it would sound terrible. Uh. But the question you should be asking yourself is, do I really have to pick my butt? No. Ew. Gross. If you need to actually do something for the cleanliness of your butt, go to the bathroom. That's what it's for. But the creeper doesn't know that. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your hand, you're going to fold in your fingers as it approaches your butt crack, and then rub your butt cheek to give the illusion of digging for gold. Like so. I look around. Awesome. No one's watching. So now I'm just going to deal with this wedgie completely alone. Ah, uh, uh, yeah. Awesome, that got it. No, it didn't get it. There's, no. Ah, ah, man. Uh, at this point, you may find that the creeper has run off. If so, awesome. You don't need to watch any more of this video. If they haven't, well, you just gotta play it up bigger. So, you just, you reach farther like you know maybe maybe there's like a, a, a small dog running by that you can prop your foot up on and and like get some leverage I mean just like like I mean reach for your freaking tonsils okay get all the way up there now of course in a situation like this if the creeper is still creeping well the next step of course is to assess the damage the damage being what exactly is the state of your finger at this point? So here you are. Ah, you extract the appendage and you just sort of, oh, oh, that's, that's horrible. I, I don't think anybody's actually seen that since it was created in a lab and then thrown into a vault. Ew. But, but it can't, it can't really be that bad, right? Oh, oh, that's, that's vile. Oh, God, that, that came out of a person? Oh, no. Oh, but, but no, I mean, it, it's not, it's not that, it's not that bad, right? Oh, oh, that's disgusting. Oh, I have to check again. Oh god. So at this point, your not so secret admirer should be running for the hills, but if he's not, just, just, you know, it's time to make sure that he knows that you know. Oh. Oh, hey. Oh, Chadler? I mean, uh, uh, Creighton? I mean, uh, Kyleth? How, how, how you doing? You see something you like, buddy? Oh, oh, oh. So, you picked your butt. You did some awful, awful things. And now, hopefully, your creeper is running for the hills. If not, I got nothing. I mean, like, maybe throw some spiders in his face? I, seriously, that is that is a whole new level and dedication to being an awful person. Uh, if at this point they have not figured out that you are a biological person who doesn't want to be treated like a piece of meat for their gratification, uh, I mean, write a letter to your congressman? 
But hopefully this video helped, and if it did, uh, show your friends. And other than that, uh, thanks for watching. Bye!